Hi guys, in this video I'm going to discuss the problem 2 from bi-weekly contest 95 of lead code. The problem states that find the consecutive integers from a data stream. This problem is pretty easy, but the only reason I think that they have mentioned it a medium category they've mentioned this in medium categories that we need to implement methods. So generally when we need to implement methods, it's not most of the time given in the easy category, but yeah, it's super simple. So what they say is that implement the data stream class where the constructor takes two parameters so it initializes the object with the empty integer stream and two integers value and k it also implements a method so the method is boolean and it, uh, the method is uh, consec and it returns a boolean so the method actually adds the num so that's the parameter that's passed to it it adds the num to the stream of integers return true if the last k integers are equal to value and false otherwise if there are less than k integers the condition still doesn't hold so you have to return false then they have given us a super easy example. So let's try to understand what they're saying. So the example they have given us is consec4, consec4, consec4. Also the value of k over here was two. So, and let's say this is our stream. So in con whenever we call consec, so we try to push the element they, that met, they, they are mentioning onto the stream. And if we have the last k elements as well, so over here the value was also set as four. And the last call was made to consec3 yeah that completes the test case so now when we uh, call consec this is a function that we are calling so if the last k values have a value equal to val then we return a, return a true else we return a false so in the first iteration i'll push four and then i'll check that the last k values are equal to four so no it has a single value as of now right so it will return me false me a second okay just a correction the uh, k over here was three that doesn't change whatever we learned till uh, till now so then we call consec four so then we try to push four again now we check if the last three values were equal to four no we have only two values so false then we again push four then at this time we check if the last uh, three values were equal to val that is four yep the last three values were equal to four so we return true then again we push three then we check if the last three values were equal to four so these are the last three values but over here you can see let me draw it with a different color yeah so these are the last three values but you can see that the last three values are four four three so they all are not equal to four so return false super easy right now how do we do it uh, a very neat thinking would be that we can implement a stream over here and then we can check all the values however that would increase your complexity and the kind of code you're writing and moreover it won't even pass because of the uh, time limit constraints so what you can actually do is something sm uh, called smart thinking so what we'll do is we know that whenever we are calling co uh, consec right and if consec has anything so that is not equal to val so if it's val then it's a different case if it has anything that's not equal to val so let's say my val was x and let's say i call consec 5 or uh, consec y so now y would be stored at the end of my data stream so y would be a part of the last k elements since y is not equal to x so i can simply return zero right if i'm pushing a x then i have to check that if the last k elements are equal to x or not so what how can we uh, make that faster so i don't want to count the k elements again and again so what i can do is i can keep a counter right so i'll increment my counter whenever i see a x right so if i see a x i'll increment my counter but when i see a y i'll uh, i'll set my counter to zero because in the contiguous range now a y has appeared so after it there are no x's right so that like if they are gonna uh, there are gonna be some x's in the uh, in the future they're gonna come in the future i don't know as of now so i'm gonna set my counter to zero and that's the entire approach so what we said is that if okay so consec and let's say it's calling x so if x is equal to val then good enough i'll increment my counter and return if my counter is you know uh, greater than e greater than equal to k if that's not the case then I'll set my counter to zero and return zero. S return zero. Super easy, right? That's what it takes. So over here as well, what I've done is 
that I have set uh, I have taken a value a count and k to store the values. Uh, the good practice is that whenever you have such things, so you should take like this val is equal to value and all that stuff. Okay, so this value is equal to value I meant, but uh, when you are coding for a contest, so whatever is easier to write, faster to write, you should use that. So yeah, val is equal to value, count is equal to zero, k is equal to k. That's what I'm doing. So after that, so we have a consec call over there. I'm checking if the num is equal to val, then I'm incrementing my count and returning if the count is greater than or equal to k. Else, else is actually not required because we are returning right over there. So yeah, this would work just the same. Else, what would happen is that I'll set my count to zero and I'll return false. Let's try submitting it. Yep, it works. So yeah, this was by far one of the most easiest question you can see with a medium tag. I hope you were able to do it. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions, uh, make sure you put them down in the comment section below. I'll definitely answer them. Thanks a lot, guys.